Howdy all, welcome to Movie Monday, episode number three. Quick update on Cyrus. Cyrus is still pulling us down the sidewalk, being his happy, bouncy self. Thank goodness for that. Um, we're trying to get him into ketosis. Ketosis. Yeah, uh, well, I think we're on day number four, maybe five. And he's not there yet. How do we know he's not there yet? We take a little prick of blood and put it in the monitor like a diabetic does. Uh, public thank you out to Tasha. She is exhaustively spending all of her time she doesn't need sleep or food to research and find anything that might give us help or an edge to fight cancer i hate cancer I hate saying the word uh in cyrus and that being said this week uh the first first video i gave you a tour of the studio second was a tour of me and this week I think I'll give you a little push in the direction of oil paintings if you ever wanted to try oil paintings. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to give you a shopping list. Okay, be right back. All right, camera's flipped around. So if you ever wanted to try oil painting but had no idea where to start, you hear all the scary stories about toxicity, I'm going to give you a little push if you want into the right direction, I think. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is grab your 40 or 50% off coupon and head down to your local hobby store. Down there, you're going to look for Windsor & Newton Artisan Paint. Now, that name is very important. Artisan. Okay, artisan oil paints are water-soluble. And this blue is French Ultramarine. That's going to be your first color that you're going to get. Okay, now if you're feeling ambitious, you can go for a little brown or burnt umber. Once again, artisan. That name is very important. If you'd like to go even a little bit farther, pick you up some white. This is a titanium white. Okay, so you're going to start your paintings with a blue. And the blue is going to give you a wash and it's going to let you see your values. Then you're going to go with brown, or you can go vice versa if you like. Brown, mix blue and brown, you get black. Add a little white in there. You can go from black to gray to white. Okay, fun stuff. Also on your shopping list, I want you to look for Artisan Thinner. Now, once again, that name is very important. Artisan Thinner. Well, I thought you said these are water soluble. Well, they are. And you can thin your paints with water. But in my experience, that'll make your paints sticky. Sticky paints are no fun. Use water to clean up with. Okay? This won't make your paint sticky. It'll make them a little bit smoother and funner to work with. Okay? Now, you're going to need something to paint with. You're going to look for your brushes, cheap brushes. You get these in like the multi-pack of 12 or 24 for $7. These are a natural bristle, hog's hair. I think they're hog's hair. Maybe they're camel. Okay. You're going to get the cheap ones because you're not sure if you're going to keep oil painting. And if you damage them, well, you're not out anything very much. Okay. You're going to need to get something to paint on, and that's a canvas. This is a canvas panel. It's just canvas glued to a piece of cardboard. Or you can do a stretched panel. The stretched panel is canvas stretched over a little wood frame. Okay. That's shopping list for the first week. And if you want to come back for more tips, join us next week. And I'll show you what to do with these colors. Here's a little preview. This is a little 5x7 I'm working on for someone. See? And that's one color. All right. Thanks for watching.